I just woke up this morning. I am flying to Sarajevo, which is in Bosnia, Herzegovina. I'm going for a business trip. It's quarter to five. And um, yeah, I just woke, I woke up quite early, so I don't have to leave here till half six. So I'm going to try and get some yoga done. Uh, to stretch myself out, you know, before the flight. And then going to go to Liverpool Street. Liverpool Street on the Elizabeth Line to Heathrow Terminal 2, I think. And then uh, Austrian Airlines flight to Vienna. Change planes. And then get on a Vienna to Sarajevo flight. Land in Sarajevo. And that's when I'm going to be picked up by... A driver at the airport and then taken straight to uh, straight to the meeting so all systems go baby so in terms of yoga I do there's a girl on, on YouTube or woman on YouTube called yoga so called Cassandra she's not called yoga and her moniker is yoga with Cassandra and most of the videos are three four years old but I quite like them, and I don't know why, but I get this sort of feeling of, I don't want to change yoga teacher. You know, I've never met this woman before, but I, I, I have some sort of trust in her. I'm like, I don't want to, oh, I don't want to go with someone else. I don't want to go with another teacher. I'd rather just go with Cassandra, because I know Cassandra. I've never met this woman in my life. I'm not the most slender guy in the world. I'm sure I lose weight, believe me. Uh, but it's hard and it takes a long time. It takes discipline, you know? You can't lose weight. If you lose weight, like I did before, I lost weight. I lost about 10 kilos in about two months. You just yo-yo because uh, it needs to be done gradually over time, like weight gain. I mean, I've like gradually gained weight since I was 18, 19 years old. And each year got a little bit fatter, a little bit fatter, a little bit fatter. And um, my whole thing was just, I just don't want to be identified as a fat guy. So if someone's across the road and they're talking about me and they say, oh, which guy is it? And they point and they say, yeah, the fat guy with the beard. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I was always trying to avoid. And um, then I realized, who gives a shit, you know? Who cares what people think? And, you know, you can be fat, but also fit. You know what I mean? You can be fat and go to the gym every single day and being relatively healthy with good stamina and everything, but just have a bit of timber, you know? So it's much more about health than it is about anything else. Just uh, always trying to, always try and remember that. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking hate flying. And in particular, I just hate traveling in general to the airport, you have to be there on time. If you, you have to go through the fucking security, you have to go through, you have to go to the boarding and get to the gate and then queue up. And, oh my God, it's such a rigmarole. And then when you do get on the fucking airplane, you got to sit and wait, you sit next to a complete stranger, you don't even know, it's tiny, cramped and everyone's sweating their bollocks off and it fucking stinks and it's filthy as well there's germs everywhere um and then you've got to wait sometimes sometimes you get delayed sometimes you sat on the fucking runway for an hour and then eventually you get up in the air and then you just got to try and fingers crossed you don't fucking crash i mean who who would go through this ordeal in an ordinary set of circumstances, I mean, I have to go to Sarajevo, I have to go meet this guy, but in an ordinary set of circumstances, who the fuck would go through all of that? Jesus, I hate it. I'm actually hoping eventually to become world famous and incredibly, incredibly wealthy from these vlogs and all the other content that I make and will make and produce, TV shows, films, all of that. The reason is because I do not want to fly commercial anymore out of a private jet, okay? That's, this is what all this is for, you know?
this is what all this is for. So don't forget to like, subscribe and follow. And today I will be traveling on the Elizabeth line all the way to Heathrow. So I'll try and get some dirty shots for all you dirty train spotters out there, yeah? So I always travel with my face mask on in case I'm recognized by my global fan base, baby. So I'm changing planes in Austria. Austria, weird place, full of big bellies and uh, weird beards. And that's just the women. <laughs> um, yeah, so changing planes now. I'll tell you what, secure at the airport. They're like the, the jobs worst of all jobs worst, aren't they? And I know they have to be, but <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't let this old woman go through with a walking stick, for Christ's sake. I mean, she could, she could barely fucking walk without it. And they wouldn't let her through with, with the walking stick. They had to put it through the machine. Honestly, and as well, when I was on the plane, I mean, a lot of friends now of mine in their mid to late thirties, they're gasping for children. They just want kids as quickly as possible, men and women. And uh, I saw a lady on the plane being escorted by her daughter, a toddler, all the way down the carriage to the toilet at the end of the plane. And as she was being escorted, this woman, she didn't blink once. She was like that the whole way. She did not blink once. And that tells you all you need to know about having kids. There we go. Sarajevo. I just got nearly hit by a fucking car. Fucking wanker. Anyway, I'm here at a restaurant. This is a really quite a famous restaurant. Um, yeah, it's known for its meat. It gets a lot of Bosnian celebrities here. And it's called Brelugovic something. Let's do it. gonna get some and some dirty close-ups of uh, this food cool. sorry about beer. yes I'd okay. like <laughs> they got fish in the toilet so I'm with my friend Mahir and we've eaten so much meat it's unbelievable um, and I'm loads of beer and we had this um, Bosnian brandy. I had two big shots of it as well. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit fuzzy at the moment. Um, and then he just said to me, okay, we, we go pick up my friend and then we go to barbecue. I said, barbecue? We've just eaten fucking a table full of meat. Bah. These two are the biggest buildings yeah. in Sarajevo. Nice. Or you will put the music later. Put the music later, right? <laughs> so we're on our way to the hotel now. Have a quick shower and all that. And then we're going to get out for the Champions League final. And it's going to be a big game. Of course, Edin Dzeko is playing for Inter Milan. And I'm in Bosnia. So it's going to be a lot of fun, right? Watching all the Dzeko supporters. It's going to be hard to be funny for Dzeko. It's actually coach. And now we will pass the stadium where Jacob is starting to play football. Okay, we're going to pass it now? Yes, yeah. Yes. All right, brilliant. So the 
drive nothing the same. So yeah. it was completely destroyed during the war. Yeah. And Admiral is a sponsor, I see. Yeah. And Jake was stuck. Started to play football here. Wow. These grounds. So there's going to be a lot of support tonight, I think, for Inter Milan and for Jacko, right? Yeah. Wow. All Bosnia at least. All of Bosnia wants Inter <laughs> Milan to win today. Cool. Stadium. So opinions and thoughts on Sarajevo so far. It feels like a bit of a weird place. Initially it felt like this is a bit of a weird city and it feels very disjointed. And Mahir then he was just saying about there's a lot of car accidents here, um, which explains why I nearly got run over right at the start. Since well, as soon as I got here, nearly basically nearly got hit over. So I'm here at my apartment now, Tuffo, which is right in the center of the old town. Um, and we just saw that there's a load of people graduating today, like college students graduating. So there's gonna be loads of students out tonight. And it's also the Champions League final. So opinions on Sarajevo so far. I think it's a disjointed, weird city. But it seems like it's quite fun, you know, and people have a really good attitude towards life. And I think people are up for it, you know, it's that sort of say like we're having it large kind of place. So let's see what happens tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to try and vlog as much as I possibly can for you crazy kids. So here's the apartment. It doesn't have any windows. Toilet, yeah. This says one. Window up there. Great. Well, this is this is what thirty-five quid a night buys you in Sarajevo. So I'm here in a local bar in Sarajevo and we're waiting for the Champions League final to start. So here we go, let's see what happens. So 20 minutes in, game's in the balance, nil-nil. City could have it, Inter could have it. You see the, uh, it's interesting to get the opinion of Jack Grealish from the international audience. They sort of see him as a little bit of a sort of a sissy boy kind of, you know. They, uh, they're not massive fans, I think. They sort of see him maybe as a bit of a, like a sort of a David Beckham kind of type. Um, great arse though, an amazing arse. What are the opinions on Guardiola not wearing a suit for the FA Cup final? He wore a hoodie. The part of me, uh, it doesn't sit right with me that. I think it's a little bit disrespectful. You could maybe make an argument that he was trying to psych out Ten Hag by looking really casual, and like it wasn't that important. Um, but to me, I don't know, as an English football fan, it's a little bit disrespectful that FA Cup final, not to wear a suit. Nah, when you get in the trophy and the and the and the medals from the from the uh, from Prince William, doesn't sit right with me. Let me know what you think in the comments about that. Noticed in Sarajevo that the bidet, or if you want to call that a bidet, I don't know whether it's just like a hose pipe to wash your ass with, that has, I've seen that in, in quite a few of the public toilets so far. It's almost like the bidet has a high preference over here. More preference than a natural toilet seat. Um, no wonder there's no women in this bar. 55 minutes gone, very much in the bounds. Feels like both teams are just waiting for that one chance. One chance to take the game. This could go to extra time. Goal to City. Goal to City, I think it's Rodri, right? Number 16. I was actually going to have a bet on uh, Jack Grealish to set up. Uh, Jack Grealish assist. I, was gonna, I had a feeling about him, but obviously I'm not in fucking England, so I couldn't put the bet on. I think, um, I think City's got this now. 1-0 City, I think. 
Lukaku got in the way of the shot. I mean, Lukaku at times, he reminds me of when you put a, a goalkeeper up front or a defender. He's just a head on a stick. Just a big lump. If Inter want to get back in this game, they're going to really, really start shoving bodies forward. Five minutes out of time. I don't think it's Inter's night. I don't think it's Inter's night. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna go, 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 I'm